Hello everybody. I know it's been a little bit since I've done an energy read of the week. I've been getting a lot of downloads and I've wanted to take some time to interpret this correctly so that when I share these messages they resonate and make sense and are helpful for people. Some of you may know that I did have a near-death experience seven years ago and during that experience, I left my body. I went to a place of white light and I was given a life review and shown different ways of looking at things. And when I came back, I was able to interpret what I was told was light language. So I'm getting a lot of downloads and this is, uh, I'm just gonna explain what I've been seeing and what this means. I have a very strong connection to my spirit guides on the other side. Um, it's been that way since childhood. I've, I've always been a very wide open channel, so I've been doing more channeling. So this isn't really coming from me. I'm just sort of interpreting what I'm, what they're showing me as they've as they've shown it and what it means. So we're we're going to talk about this pandemic, and how the different dimensions are interlaid upon the earth. So bear with me here. We're going to get a little metaphysical. I was shown a view from the earth up above. I was floating up above. Uh, I was meditating. I connected with my guides and I was shown the earth from up above. And as I was watching, I, I saw this flash of light blue light and white that, that went all over the planet. And at the time, I wasn't quite sure what I was seeing. But what I was seeing was the first disruption of this virus is communication. It's changing the way that we communicate with people. It's uh, changing how we interact. Uh, there's a lot of people that are falling back in love, and there's going to be a lot of people getting divorced after this. We're changing the way that we communicate. We're finding other ways to connect and this is all, I know we're being separated, but through this communication, we're still finding ways to connect. So that's the first challenge was the disruption in communication because we're all isolated. Okay. Now the second piece of this, there's two phases to it. I, I saw two things at once. I saw, and when we talk about spirits, guides, and 3D, 4D, 5D consciousness, it's all intertwined in the same space, and I'm going to describe it to you. The collective consciousness is an interweb of, of light, of filaments, of, of uh, different types of energy that wraps around the earth. And uh, it's shown to me as uh, like these bright, bright filaments of light. If you've ever seen the movie Lucy, where she steps outside and she looks at the trees and she can see the nutrients growing up into the trees, that's the type of light language that my guides use. So the second thing I saw sweep over the planet was a combination of these interwebs of light, all the different colors. And there was, there was two distinct waves. There was a wave of what I saw as firecrackers, which was red and white light that represented fear. It represent, you know, we, uh, there's a lot of talk about two earths right now, the earth of fear and the earth of love. Dolores Cannon talks a lot about two earths. If you want to know more about it, look up Dolores Cannon. So the first wave is fear. The, I'm sorry, the second wave is fear. And then the third wave that we have complete control over is how we react to this situation. The more you sprinkle seeds of kindness or do good deeds or show gratitude, all of that creates energy and all of that, nothing is lost and nothing is wasted. Doing simple deeds of kindness, you may not think it makes an impact, but you're sprinkling that light somewhere and it always, it always makes a difference, even if you don't think it is at the time. Everything that we do makes a ripple in the universe. Everything, our thoughts, our actions, our intentions, our belief systems, we are creating our own reality. And we are undergoing a massive shift in the collective consciousness. This is, it's a scary time. And it's also a time when a lot of people are waking up. And understanding that really the only thing that's dividing us is judgment. That has become very apparent and crystal clear, not just not only before this pandemic, but uh, the previous year, I would say. Things have been coming to a head. 
So we're presented with a choice. Do we react and, exp and blow up like the firecrackers? You know, f firecrackers make people jump. They're not soothing. If that's the fear. That's their overreactivity. That's the... the the people that are going down these rabbit holes of, of, of saying it's all, you know, darkness and doom and gloom, that, you know, you can go that way or you can go the other way and you can try to tap into the positive energy of that collective consciousness, the colors. You know, emotions have colors if you could see them. You know, joy is yellow. Um, happiness is uh, orange it, it corresponds to chakras so when you send that energy out to the universe it becomes part of the collective consciousness i know this may be a lot for some people to comprehend because i've not gone this direction before but this is where i'm my guides are telling me i need to go i need to bring more of what i was aware of in the light back and interpret it for 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 humanity that's what i'm here to do so you're uh i'm still going to do card readings but i'm going to be doing a lot more downloads and sharing the downloads and the meaning behind those downloads so everything you do positive you know sending out love sending out hope sending out prayers you know it all makes a ripple and random acts of kindness they're needed more than anywhere right now and don't do them expecting to be reciprocated with that to do it with the intention of i just want to make the world a better place and you will i'm going to share another story of, of what i saw in the light that is going to help you understand that this is true i met my biological father for the first time and he was one that showed me this timeline of when i was a child always longing for him and i was sending out this grief energy and what that looks like is is, is green mixed with gray and black. So I was sending out a lot of that grief energy throughout my life. And that energy was sent out, but it was never lost. And I, he showed me him on, on the Navy ship, and he was a smoker, longing for me, that longing. Uh, I'm not going to share the, all the details of how, how we were separated and all that, but um, he showed me that all of those longings and all of the times that I thought about him and all of the things that I, all the prayers that I'd said, asking him, he heard. When he crossed over, he heard all of it. Nothing is lost and nothing is wasted. And I got a chance to meet him. I came back because I have two daughters and a mission to fulfill. But I know that all of the love that I sent him and the longing was never lost. It was all, it, 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 it gets contained in the collective consciousness. It's like these sprinkles of emotion are left behind. And that, and it gets, but it's not left behind. It's pulled back into the collective consciousness. That's how when people pass, we're able to do these life reviews because that energy is stored. And when you get to the other dimension, some people call it heaven, 5D, 60, 70, wherever it is. I'm not sure exactly, <laughs> but I do know that our angels and the, the the archangels, all of the helpers, the light workers are very much active and involved in this situation. So be one of the light filaments, be one of the colors, be one of the bright sparks. Don't be one of the firecrackers banging, making noise, creating drama, negativity, fear. That's not what we're here to create. You are all creators. Everything creates energy. And during this time, send out ripples of positivity. This is what's going to change things. This is what's going to help us overcome this. This is going to invite our guides to come even closer to assist us. This is what they're asking me to have everybody do, okay? You're, you're, you're loved more than you realize. You have more support than you realize. We are going to get through this. Keep your faith and be the light. <laughs>